Hi, it's Ken from Pine Finders Old Pine Furniture Warehouse in Haddenham in Buckinghamshire. And I'm going to record a video of my latest delivery of furniture. It is Thursday the 19th of April. And I will show you around all of the new pieces that have arrived recently that are not yet on the website. And as I'll be showing you, I'll be showing you the tickets. <laughs> So each piece of furniture has a unique code at the top. That's this unique code, Y3602B. All the furniture in the bare wood or furniture which hasn't been restored yet will have two prices. The first price is the buy it now as it is price. And the second one is when it's all done up and waxed. If there is any restoration to do, that will be done and the wax polishing. Then on the back of the ticket, you'll have the height, the width and the depth. And all these measurements are the maximum measurement, so that's the highest point, the widest point, and the deepest point. When it comes to wardrobes, <coughs> you'll have one extra measurement. For example, this wardrobe here, which will be the last measurement there, is the internal depth. So that's the hanging space, or hanging depth. So on wardrobes, you'll have four measurements. So without further ado, I'll start. I'll just go quickly through it because I've got a lot of items. So I'll just show you the piece of furniture, then quickly show you both sides of the ticket like that. And then obviously you can just pause it to study it in more depth. So there's an old pine larder cupboard or bread cupboard with a little vent. And that is the ticket I just showed you. Then we have a reclaimed pine, three door, three drawer pine base. So this has been made recently from reclaimed wood. Oops. Next to that, a lovely little dresser base, two doors, two drawers. There's some nice detail on there. And then a small chest of drawers. Two small drawers over two larger ones. And that one is already on the website. Then we've got a bookcase. Now this bookcase has been made from new pine, so these can be made any size. And this one's been wax finished, so as you can see it's just got one price. So these bookcases can be made any size. There are more details on the website, or just let me know if you want more details. Here's a pine box that's been waxed. This has been waxed in a clear wax. I'll quickly show you inside. And it's got the little candle box on the left hand side, which inside, which is quite useful. Got a beautiful old chair. This is stunning, this thing. It's very old. Elm seat. I just fell in love with it when I saw it. It's quite a lot of money, but it's a bit special. That's the seat height, 15 and a half, and the total height, 32. And something else I absolutely fell in love with, which I might actually take home if it doesn't sell quickly, is this lovely little marriage chest, which is beautiful, beautifully painted. Dating from the mid 1800s, probably this one. Probably my favorite piece of this lot. And it's got lots of graffiti on the inside. Looks like very old writing. I haven't got a clue what it says. Well, there's a date up there. Yeah, anyway. 
So if nobody snaps it up pretty quickly, I think that might be coming home with me. Now around here, we've got a very old Polish dresser, really rustic and battered, battered around and all sorts of things going on here. But it is really, really sweet. The video doesn't really sh do it justice. I've got to take some. I'll be taking photographs of everything, proper photographs in my photograph area and a video of everything and then I'll put it on the website obviously but that's going to take a few weeks to get everything on there. So this has got to be dating from again from the mid 1800s I'm sure and it's really old. This hasn't been done up yet so it will be played around with and waxed for you. There's a lovely dresser from the Czech Republic Lovely old dresser. It's got the oh no, this is this has been put on the website. Sorry, this is already on the website, this one. And I think this one is as well. Yeah, that's the German one. That's been put on there as well. So that's okay. Um, oh, going back to the box, I didn't give you the measurements and prices. Let me just get the ticket. Let's have a look. We've got 397 for my lovely little box. I may show you a couple of things over and over because I'm getting confused. I've got so much stuff. So if I do, my apologies. <coughs> Another flat top old pine box. And then a lovely English late Victorian or early Edwardian pine cupboard. This one's being waxed. Then a rocking chair. This is new. These can be ordered in. This one's been waxed. And they are including VAT 249. We've got some measurements there. So that's the seat height 19 inches, the total height 45. What have you got? I've done that. Oh, yes, this um, very interesting old pine box. Really nice that on those sort of feet. Another English chest of drawers. It's probably late, yeah, late Victorian, early Edwardian again. Um, what have we got next? Then, ah, yes. A one piece cupboard, tall, slim cupboard, and that's got a drawer at the bottom. Oh, the door locks the drawer, but I can do that. I can alter that for you if you'd like me to. And it's got three shelves in there. It's got a lovely crown on top, look at that. Then what's next? We come to, ah, oh, yes. Now again, this is this is absolutely beautiful. Sorry, the colour's a bit strange in this lighting, but that is a lovely French linen press. Probably one of the best linen presses I've had. Just everything's perfect on this. We have two shelves in the top section. then a shelf in the base yeah so that is absolutely stunning French linen press look at that And that's the 
work surface height or the, the base height is 37, total height 87. Next to that we have, is that a one piece wardrobe? I think so. Yep, yeah, so this is a one piece wardrobe. So this doesn't dismantle. Just going back quickly to this one. Did I, um, I didn't put, do this one. This is a, a knockdown wardrobe, one that dismantles. Sorry, I missed this out. I'll go back to the other one piece wardrobe in a second. I knew I'd get confused. This is a very old wardrobe. There's two drawers in the bottom. And it's quite low. It's um, yes, well, 72 and a half, so just over six foot. And the internal depth, 21 there, as you can see. So that's nice and deep for hanging. So this does dismantle. It's got hardwood corners here. That's the way it was made. That's the way it was made. So when it's waxed, they'll be really nice. So going back to this one piece wardrobe, yeah, the one with flowers carved on the doors there. So this doesn't dismantle. If it's going upstairs, then please check your access carefully. And it has a drawer at the bottom, as you can see. And internal depth 20, so that's nice and deep for hanging again. Next to that, we have a beautiful column, what we call night cupboards or vertigos. So tall, slim cupboard with those lovely columns on the side. There's a lovely detail there. This one's probably dating from about 1910. So you've got a drawer at the top, two doors below, and three shelves inside. One, two, three. And the two doors. And then next to that, lovely little larder cupboard, or food cupboard. And that has two, that has two shelves inside. Then we have, uh, sorry, and we have a pair of bedside cupboards, each with a drawer at the top and a door below. And I'm pretty sure they've got a shelf inside. Yes, they've each got a shelf inside as well. And that's obviously for the pair, as you can see. Then we've got a reclaimed pine bank of drawers. So this has been made from reclaimed pine. What's that? Three, 15 drawers in. I think they're probably square or very nearly square drawers, each with a little wooden knob. And it's very shallow, this, so it's very interesting. It, it's quite, quite nice, not too imposing. Then we have another pair of bedside cupboards, 1920s, these were made. And again, you have a shelf inside, so you've got a drawer at the top and a shelf inside each. Around the corner. Oh yeah, this is an old pine bank of drawers. Look at that. I reckon this must have been from a shop or something. I think it's a shop fitting. Lovely thing. How many drawers have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, twenty. Twenty drawers. And this is old. This is probably dating from the 20, 19, 19, 20, 1915, something like that, 1910. Very useful. We have a little bedside cupboard, sort of a short and squat, or dumpies as we call them. Yeah, there's a shelf inside, well, not a very good shelf, that's just ply, but I can make you another shelf if you'd like me to. Then we have a nice pine cupboard, two drawers over two cupboard doors. And this has been made, yeah, this has been made recently from reclaimed pine. Needs 
that catch adjusting. Then we have a lovely ash wardrobe, an old ash wardrobe dating from about 1900. So some beautiful detail on the doors there. And the mirror, lovely mirror. And six drawers below. So it's got the original lining inside. Two rails at the top and some hooks around here. It needs a bit of restoration, which I, I'm happy to do for you. Oh, and I was going to show you the who made it. It is there. You go. Uh, get this in focus. James Schoolbred and Co. Tottenham House, Tottenham Court Road, London. He apparently was well known for making ash furniture in those days. And then on the right there, you've got three sliding trays. So it's probably a gent gentleman's wardrobe, I would imagine. So it needs a bit of work, but that reflects in the difference in prices. So you could buy it now for 900 If you'd like me to do it all up and really put some time into it, it's going to be 1100 Those are the dimensions. And it does break down for delivery. You've got, um, it's difficult to show you here, but the top comes off and it sits on the base. So the base com comes away from the base and you're left with the biggest section, which is this box section here. So that square area there. So basically the first two doors is what you're left with. And then you've got another box section at the end so that there, there, and then the rest dismantles. So if you need those measurements, let me know. Um, where are we going next? Oh yes, a Victorian pine chest of drawers, late Victorian. Was it late Victorian? Mid Victorian probably. Yeah, two drawers over, too small over too big. Then a made from old pine floorboards, a three drawer server, pot boards, what we call them pot board servers. So that's where you'd put your pots. So that's the pot board. So it's like a console table. And that's been made. So these can be made to any size, these ones. We did make an 11 foot long one, which was beautiful. Here's an old. Pine chest of drawers, three drawers. Needs a bit of restoration. And then another chest of drawers here with that splashback thing on top. This, this is English, this one. And just arrived, literally just arrived this morning, a lovely big early Victorian chest of drawers. Very nice and tidy. Well, I say tidy, it does need a bit of restoration, but the look of it is very nice. We just need some, some just need to play around with the base there to see the trims missing. Here we have two tables. These have been made recently from reclaimed pine. They're the same size, I believe, and they'll be the same price. So there's the tops, nice and clean. So we can play around with those, maybe paint the base and wax the tops, or we can do whatever you like as two. That's the top one. And I believe the bottom one's the same size and the same price. Have a small cupboard, it's like a tall bedside cupboard with one cupboard door, three shelves inside, and a drawer at the bottom. Here 
we've got another smallish but tall old pine cupboard. It has two shelves inside, as you can see. And a two drawer cupboard. It's like, a, sorry, chest of drawers. It's more like a, it's like a linen chest of drawers because the drawers were really deep. Little coffee table. Nice old coffee table with a little, little drawer. And then we have a triple pine wardrobe, 1930s, with a mirror in the central, in the middle door. So you've got hanging on the right hand side and we that, that shelf does actually go in there and then I'd put the rail underneath for you. And on the left hand side there are one, two, three, four, five shelves which go in there. So the hanging on the right and then shelved on the left. But I could put hanging on the left if you'd like me to, if you didn't want the shelves, so you can do anything you like. We can do anything here. And this totally dismantles for delivery and it's nice and deep. So that will go up any stairway. Here's another wardrobe, lovely wardrobe that dismantles. There's two drawers at the bottom and then it's just empty inside. The doors open fully on this one. As you can see, they open right back, which is quite useful. And then obviously I can put a hanging rail in for you. So that totally dismantles for delivery. And again, it's nice and deep, which you'll see in a minute. So that's 21 internal depth, so it's good and deep. And then a lovely old pine chest of drawers. So that drawer is, is one drawer at the top. It looks like, almost looks like three, but it's one. And you've got the lovely columns going down each side. Very tidy chest of drawers. I think we're nearly finished. We've got two boxes. I think these were, I haven't put these on the website. These were from the last but one delivery. That's got a painted top, but I'll show you them around, show you them anyway. So that's just 200 as it is. Very pretty painting on the top there. A mule chest. So that's a drawer at the bottom. That is actually a drawer. And then lift up the lid. And you have a candle box on the left hand side. You can see the lid there. And you've got two little drawers underneath, which is really sweet. Let's get to the label. Mm. And I think this is the last piece. We have a wardrobe which splits into two sections. So that is one section, that's the other section, so it splits in half vertically. And it has two drawers at the bottom. It does open. The depth is 19 inches. And I think that's everything. Yes, that is everything. So if there's anything you're interested in, then please let me know, I can give you more details. We'll take uh, some photographs of that piece, better photographs, because I know it's a bit difficult to see in a video. And then I could do that for you and send it to you, or put it on the website so you can see, um, or, you can come and visit Pine Finders in Haddenham, in Buckinghamshire. Details on the website. Opening hours are Fridays 10 till 4, Saturdays 10 till 5, Sundays 12 till 4. Those are the times we're always open, but we're off, often here during the week. 
So just give me a call if you'd like to come during the week and I'm sure we can arrange somebody. If there's not somebody here, then we can arrange for somebody to be here. And I hope there's something you like. I do love my box. And yes, just let me know and hopefully see you soon.